We are in the beautiful world of Willow Creek today, building on this lovely little 20 by 15 that we all know and love, Crick Cabana, one of my favorite lots in The Sims 4. As you can tell, I build here so, so much. Uh, but today we are building with just the base game. I thought this also could be a nice little, uh, nice little soft launch of a little save file series that I have been kind of thinking about for several years, honestly. Uh, so yeah, here we are building a really simple but really nice, realistic uh, three bedroom, two bathroom family home. Uh, I would say it's built for a good family of four, but I think it would be kind of nice for maybe the parents to get pregnant again, and then they have a child, and then the oldest, the teenager, is like, I want to just live in the basement, or not the basement, but the garage, but uh, adding a basement would have been a good idea too, I should have done that, uh, but yeah, there is going to be a attached garage to this house as well. This is a pretty simple home in concept. It's just a very basic two floor home and but I really wanted to kind of go for just like a realistic simple lived in atmosphere and it does take me a while to get there but I am really really happy with this home and it really is inspiring me to kind of continue on building more base game only homes in this save. Um, I actually downloaded a blank save that I actually use for a lot of my building uh, just because it makes it super convenient. I will link that down below if you all are looking to, you know, maybe just have a blank save to start you know, your own site file, or if you just want to build randomly and just have something that's empty and clean, uh, you can go check it out, but uh, it's really handy. I'm thinking that whenever I do another build on this little street, I want to kind of keep the same, you know, sort of the same shape, uh, maybe even the exact same shape. Maybe, you know, this was, you know, built at the same time as the other homes on the street, who knows? Or maybe I will do like a mirrored image of it or something slightly different, I'm not sure, but uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to fill this little neighborhood first. Uh, we are in Foundry Cove, that's what this neighborhood is called. There is five lots here, and um, two of them are 20 by 15s, two of them are 30 by 20s, and then the other is a 40 by 30. And I thought it'd be cool for all of the smaller lots to just be homes, but I was thinking, what if we did the 40 by 30 as like a little park, quote unquote? and we made it into a sort of daycare recreational facility. Uh, I think that would be quite fun. Um, let me know what you think of that. Um, I actually, I'm going to write that down really quickly. That's a really good idea. I just want to start you know, building homes that are realistic and, you know, feel like homes that you would see in your own town. You know, maybe for some of you all, you see different kinds of homes, of course, but when it comes to my experience, uh, I grew up and I still live in Eastern Kentucky. Um, it's it's a mishmash, a, a mix match. It's There's a lot going on here in Eastern Kentucky when it comes to homes. Um, but, you know, it depends on where you are, of course, but you know, if you're in a typical town, you might see a home like this, you know, um, maybe not two story necessarily. Weirdly enough, we don't have a lot of two story homes. We have just kind of one story homes, but uh, at least, you know, the lower to middle income folks, you know, um, but you know, there, you'll see a variety of different kinds of homes, but I really want to capture kind of the lower income side, honestly, uh, just because that's my experience myself, as well as many people I, you know, grew up around. Uh, so I don't know. I just, I just want to kind of start implementing that. It's not something I really see a whole lot in the Sims community. Uh, and so I thought if I don't see it, then I'm going to make it myself. You know, why not? I'm just really excited to work on this little area because I thought if I was to make this my own save file and make this my own like little series that I'm starting, uh, I thought we could just focus on this little neighborhood because, you know, for me, um, when it comes to long-term projects, I need to have short, you know, goals and like little milestones to meet. Uh, because if I look at it as a whole, I get really overwhelmed. Um, but if I look at it as just like a small project, you know, small project that it's part of a bigger project, it makes me feel a little bit more accomplished. The landscaping is quite simple, but also kind of cute. 
honestly. I love the landscaping in the front. It looks like just some random, you know, mix of flowers and rocks and such. I thought it looked kind of cute with the little flamingos and the gnome and of course a bird bath. I'm going to be using that bird bath like in every single build. I hope you know, because um, I love that item. It's so simple. It's such a simple concept. I think it would be even more fun if they had actual birds fly to them. Uh, if you have the, I want to say, is it the backyard stuff pack? I could be mistaken, actually. I don't remember which stuff pack it is, but there is a stuff pack that has the bird feeder and you can actually feed birds and then they can attack your Sims or whatever. I'm not really sure, actually. I need to look into that. Anyways, uh, let's talk about the build a little bit. So it has a pretty simple shape here. Um, it's got this detached garage. I thought the garage would have been like added on later on in the years, possibly. Uh, so it has like a different like brick tone and everything. Thing, so it's not like super matchy and um, I do eventually change the wallpaper like not the wallpaper it's not wallpaper but the um, outside I made it into like a siding or no maybe not siding I I change it though it's it doesn't stay this kind of brown stucco it uh, I change it to something else differently you can probably see it in the thumbnail it just transforms a little bit but um, the concept is there so the de those details are not super important but um, I did like the little support beams that I made myself here uh, for the little uh, like porch kind of like step at the front door uh, I was gonna just use some columns but since I was using a platform instead of a foundation the columns kind of went to the ground and kind of looked weird so I used these uh, live edit fence posts and I just kind of use move objects to lift them up and down and just kind of make my own kind of uh, like columns and they're free so that makes it even better. I put a bunch of gravel out front. Gravel is very common uh, especially in my neck of the woods. Uh, obviously I live in a town now so most people have like paved driveways and stuff like that but uh, growing up in the country in the it's not the country I'm, I'm needing to be real with you. Uh, I grew up in the mountains. That's a totally different vibe. Uh, I grew up in the mountains and, you know, paving wasn't exactly realistic for a lot of people because it was, you know, it's hilly. So a lot of people just opt for gravel, which isn't really great, I will say, because it can wash away. Um, but I don't know, it just looks realistic and it just feels, I don't know, I can just hear the crunch of the gravel. That, that's just such a satisfying sound to me. And since this lot is quite small, I made the backyard quite small. Um, there's not really a whole lot going on with it. I thought that's why maybe I could build like a little park on this lot or not on this lot uh, in this little neighborhood so that, you know, the kids that lived here that live in the smaller homes that maybe don't have as much space outside, they can just go over to the park and play. Um, I could also use the tool mod to place some uh, recreational like playground stuff around as well. I definitely plan on doing that because uh, that would give, you know, the Sims in the area a lot more things to do without having to go to a different lot, which is nice because, you know, you can't just walk next door and just it be there in The Sims 4. Uh, you have to go through a loading screen, which I mean, I get it. I do. Um, I, I can still, you know, be a little bit bummed that we can't do that like we could, but like we could in The Sims 3, you know, that is neither here nor there though. Uh, I, yeah, the backyard uh, kind of wasn't sure what to do with it, honestly, because it was so small. Uh, I just, I was like, oh, I want to put some garden boxes out here, but it just wasn't looking right. So I was like, I'm just going to start over and go from there. And I just, I don't know, I kept playing around with it and I eventually come up with some, come up with something. I just want to say, I'm sorry, y'all. I have tried to record this voiceover so many times and um, either I was getting my tongues twist, tongues twisted. Wow. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say my words twisted. See what I mean? Uh, just that was Freudian slip there, um, I guess. I don't know if that's the technical term. And then I also had some technical difficulties there for a few minutes. Like my computer was being real weird, but it seems to be fine now. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, it's just been a weird day. But yeah, it was this point where I was like, okay, I'm just going to work on the interior. I don't know what to do with this backyard. Or, or maybe I did keep going. I don't really remember. I kind of zone out when I build and I don't really remember a whole lot of what I do until I look back at it. So sometimes, sometimes these videos are just as new to you as that is to me sometimes. So, uh, but yeah, I was like, I want this to be a little backyard garden, but it just seems so dark and just so like cramped that it just didn't really make sense. 
and I was like, oh, I could put some playground stuff, but it was like, this is kind of cramped. I do move this somewhere, I think. I put it there temporarily. I don't even, I didn't even remember doing that, honestly. So, uh, but yeah, I eventually just kind of move on to working on the home because I was like, I don't know what to do back there. So I'm going to just move forward. That is the best thing to do when you're working on any kind of build or a project. If there's a part of it that's frustrating you that you just don't understand, you know, you can't figure it out. Um, just do something different and then come back to it because most of the time, by the time that you do something else, you'll have figured that out. So um, I went ahead and, you know, added on the little, uh, worked on the little garage here. Um, I added a little platform on the inside so you can kind of step inside. Um, so you can't really, it's not like a real garage. Like that door that's in the front is not real. That's a debug item. And it does look like it's from City Living. It's not. It's actually from the base game, which is pretty wild. Um, it's just a live edit object uh, that I used and placed there. Um, I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, and this little garage though it's just it's not super full of anything it just has some clutter and just some like random stuff in there um i can definitely see this becoming a little bedroom i think that would be so fun for the teen to have their own little space i would probably change up the staircase bit there maybe they don't have the back door access or something I'm not really sure. That's something I would have to play around with. I kept it very simple though. Just some random boxes, you know, things you would find in a garage, a wheelbarrow, cause why not? And uh, I wasn't really too sure what to do with the floor plan, honestly, because where I placed the garage and then I also had it as a platform inside, like lifted up instead of just like a normal, you know, home. Um, I was not sure how to do it. So I made the kitchen quite small, but I think it works uh, for this kind of home. I would rather there be more living space than just the kitchen because I feel like the kitchen being too big would just be a waste of space because you know, I can't imagine your Sims being in the kitchen all that much, especially since there isn't like a dining space or an eating space in there. And the initial like vibe of this home was definitely different. Um, I'm glad I didn't go with this vibe because I liked it, but it just felt a little bit not what I was going for initially. Um, I was trying to do kind of more, a bit more of a rustic-y kind of almost like a cabin vibe. Not quite that, but it was definitely a different atmosphere. And I was like, this doesn't really fit like a young family or like a not so young family. Um, I want to do something a little bit lighter and a little bit more simple and clean looking. But the general layout and the concept is here. And I also use carpet. I don't ever really use carpet. I think carpet is terrible, but it is very realistic, uh, especially for these lower income, you know, looking homes. Uh, you know, carpet is pretty prominent. Um, it. I don't know if it's necessarily cheaper. I can imagine it is cheaper than regular flooring, like hardwood flooring, of course. Uh, but yeah, you can see the vibes here are starting to come about. Um, I wanted it to still kind of have some slight rustic vibes, but still kind of light and beige and clean. I don't, I don't really know what else, how else to describe it. It just, it has a slight suburban vibe, but not really. And there is only so much you can really do with the Sims 4 base game. Um, I genuinely wish we had more swatches on this couch here. This is actually a couch that you unlock with one of the careers, I cannot remember which one. If you know which career it is, let me know in the comments. Uh, but you can unlock it. Um, you can also just type in bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement true. Is that right? You might have to Google that, honestly. Um, but if you also have the Better Build By mod installed, you can just go to the uh, little content tab and click, or no, the Better Build By tab and just click ignore un you know, unlocks or something, and it will automatically unlock them. So really handy tool, by the way. Better Build By mod by Twisted Mexi. Please check it out if you're a builder in The Sims. But yes, you can see the vibes that I've got. And I feel like I've got them well. I do change the armchairs. I kind of wish I would have left them. I love those armchairs so much. Uh, but I went with the more simpler looking ones that kind of match the couch a bit better. Uh, I don't know. I liked it in here. It's kind of nice. It's it's cozy. It's a little bit, um, you know, quaint. Um, I don't keep this wallpaper. It was too dark for me. I wanted something a little bit brighter um, and just a little bit softer and just calming. Because, you know, I want this home to feel bright and welcoming, but still kind of, you know, not so like, you know, crazy. You know, I still want it to feel quite realistic and, you know, kind of 
at low budget. But yeah, I just, I know I kind of hate on beige, you know, you know, those millennial, not even millennial, are they, they're, they're millennials, I think at this point, I'm a millennial, so I can't say anything, but um, they are, you know, the whole beige, minimal, you know, nightmare that is the aesthetic stuff on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the, the beige nightmare. Um, I feel like, if you looked at this first glance, you might be like, ooh, but it's not that. It's not that at all. It's it's beige, but in a in a kind of nostalgic 90s way, you know? That's that's the vibes, right? Maybe that's what I mean. It's just like a home that you would see in the 90s, possibly. That's kind of the vibes I'm going for. Um, maybe, yeah. Um, I didn't really experience a lot in the 90s myself. I was born in 95. So I'm kind of like right at the end of the millennial, like the millennial age group and uh, it's like directly at the end. And so I'm, I'm kind of in the weird middle stage of the 90s where I remember bits and pieces of it, but I didn't experience it a whole lot. So I, I, I'm kind of a poser a little bit, but to be fair, um, being from Eastern Kentucky, being from an area where, you know, tr things didn't, exactly like change a lot over the years it wasn't you know as it is now where trends are you know coming and going um things were a lot slower paced in my time uh, when i was young and when i was a child and so a lot of the things that were popular in the 90s were still around in the early 2000s and so i do remember some things and here is where i changed the exterior up a bit i put the brick down and then i did this like light sagey green uh siding i thought that looked really nice because i was like i want the exterior to match the interior a little bit better and i also went with the green on the wallpaper or on the wallpaper the green on the interior as well this kind of soft pastel green this one right here it just looked it just looked just right i loved it it felt fresh and clean and bright um, but not too like expensive looking, which was the goal. Just look how cozy it is in here. It's like cozy, but bright, which is what I really love to go for. Um, and then I did do a small bathroom here as well. I don't know if I include a shower. I don't think I did. So it, it, it definitely is a little half bathroom. Um, some people call it a powder room, <laughs> if you if you will. Um, but just a little simple half bathroom because, you, know, you know, it would be bad if the only bathroom was upstairs. That would be such a pain to have to go upstairs in order to use the toilet. Um, but I just, I thought this was more for convenience sake. I think I, yeah, I, you could add a shower in here, um, especially if you play in this home and you decide to put the teen maybe in the garage and then they have another child, you might definitely want to put in a shower in here so that there's two bathrooms that fully functions in this home. The upstairs, I pretty much kept it kind of the same vibes uh, as the downstairs. Um, the three bedrooms here are very small. It's a small house. This is not crazy, um, but they're just enough for the kids. You know, they don't really have like their own desks or anything. Unfortunately, um, we don't really have those like if we had like that one small desk from parenthood in the base game, it would be great. I would actually love it. You know how they'll randomly add items from packs into the base game? I wish they would do that desk. It's such a simple little one tiled desk with no glamorous, like glamorous. What's, what am I saying? It doesn't have like all these bits and bobs. It's just a simple little table. And I feel like it would fit really nicely um, in their bedrooms, but we don't have that unfortunately. And you could use a dining table, but they were a little bit too big. So I just kind of kept them simple along with the, the bathroom here. I kept it quite simple. I put in a uh, debug plunger. I totally forgot what it was called there for a second, uh, but a debug plunger to kind of add some realism. We do have a plunger that came with that one uh, kit, that bathroom clutter kit, but obviously this is base game, so we don't have that, but that's a good little alternative. It just adds a little bit of detail. Your Sims are not going to use it. It's just decor, but it just adds a little bit of an atmosphere. Okay, the bedrooms here, the kids' bedrooms. I quite like these actually, because in order to keep it simple and keep me from not being sure what to do, I just went with a color scheme. This one is black and red and so I just went with you know black and red furniture bits and that was really it honestly nothing too crazy just some posters a dresser the bed nothing crazy I can imagine you know if this was you know real life they would have a lot of stuff like under the bed for storage um 
yeah, that's really it. Like I would see them being making it a lot messier in here possibly. I don't know, th going back to the whole 90s uh, like aesthetic, you know, maybe later on they get a family computer and it's downstairs in the living room or something like that. Uh, so maybe I was channeling that too because that's how it was for me when I was a kid is, you know, there wasn't a computer in my bedroom. Oh no, 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 that, that was not a thing. We had our family gateway PC in the living room. Uh, uh, it came in the the big, you know, cow print box. You remember those? And it, it was actually one of the nicer ones, one of the newer models of the time. I, we got it in 2000, so it, I'm not, that doesn't say much. But it was a black and silver computer. Um, it was very fancy. Um, it still had good old Windows XP. We I miss her. God, I miss Windows XP sometimes. You, do you remember the Windows Media Player, y'all? Oh my goodness. The Windows Media Player was everything. The, the themes and the skins that you could get for the little player too. Oh my goodness. Remember the like green head? That was so fun. Oh, there was some other ones. I don't remember them very well, but the green head was my favorite. I And like I would watch and stare at the visualizations with the music for like like I would stare off and zone out. I definitely was like visually stimming back then. Like core memory for me is listening to the Chicks album, Wide Open Spaces on the computer while watching the Alien Head play the Strawberry Aid visual visualization. I remember what it was called because I would stare at it and listen to the music. That was definitely, I was definitely stimming. Anyways, I talked to the other bedroom. Uh, it has an orange and blue theme. That's really all that you need to know. Uh, and then the parents bedroom, I think I changed it a little bit later on. I wasn't loving what I was doing initially, uh, just cause I was like, oh, I, I like this bedding, but I wasn't loving the the color vibes. You know, it just didn't feel right. You know, it felt kind of higgledy piggledy and not in a good way. So um, I do though, however, use the um, this very nifty tool by Picture Me Bay, uh, lovely little uh, slot, the OMSP shelf. It has tons of slots on it, so you can easily place items on it and use move objects to place it on different surfaces. It does have an invisible swatch. So you could just use the shelf and then just make it invisible, but I, I want to keep it CC free. So, uh, but I shrunk down the uh, nightstands so they could fit in the little corners here because this is a only three wide bedroom and your Sims can fully use this uh, bed, by the way, it doesn't affect it at all, but the nightstands just didn't fit very nicely. And so I wanted it to, I wanted it to feel, you know, like it made sense, you know? And I just cluttered up the dresser here. Um, yeah, nice little, nice little, just little space, you know? It's a nice cozy little bedroom. It's kind of an awkward shape because it's really long. Like it's as wide as the house is. So that's the only thing about it. I'm not like super a fan of. Um, if this, you know, if I had other packs, I would probably use a closet from Get Together to kind of fill in the space a little bit. That would be quite nice, honestly. But I also could have, you know, played around with some doors and such with with the base game and just, you know, made my own closet too. But who knows? But that is pretty much it for this build. I think I finished up the backyard in just a few moments here. Um, I, you know what I did, you know, it's, there's not much you can do. So um, I did a little outdoor eating space. I'm still not there yet. I forgot to place curtains in the kids, the second kid's bedroom and it just didn't feel right. So anyways, um, but yeah, I do change the colors in the parents' bedroom here, you can see. And I think I like it a lot better. Um, it's a little bit more random, but I like it. Um, but yeah, and then I move on to the exterior and just uh, finalize bits and bobs, put some planner boxes just to add a little bit of, you know, detail. Um, I don't know. I just kind of randomly was doing stuff at this point just because I was like, it doesn't feel quite done, but I don't know. I, I, I was obviously overthinking, but um, I just added a nice little eating space and some landscaping out back. Uh, I feel like that's what it was missing was some landscaping for sure. Um, it needed to feel a little bit more lush and a little bit more, you know, it made it less boxy too when I did this because it kind of added a little curve to the little space back here. 
uh, yeah, but that's really it though for today's speed build. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments what you thought of today's build. And uh, if you want to see some more base game only homes, please let me know as well. Uh, it was, it's, it's a lot of fun building with just the base game. And, you know, I know it's coming from a place of privilege to be, you know, saying, oh my God, the base game, it's so, it's so great to build with just the base game. Wow. Because a lot of people only build with the base game because that's all they got. But, uh, this is for you all. This is for y'all that only have the base game that just, that just want some nice aesthetic homes that are just cozy and lived in and just comfy and, all that good jazz. I keep playing around with this backyard. I didn't realize how much longer I worked on it. Um, I was really, really trying to put in some planter boxes, apparently. So um, I eventually figure out that it's just not the space for that. So I put a little, you know, table with the umbrella and the chairs. And I just thought that looked quite nice because, you know, I would love that in real life. I don't have that. I would love to have just a table with, you know, an umbrella. I mean, granted, I would definitely hate to have to like, go out there and deal with it all the time if the wind gets up, because I remember that being an issue for people. Um, but anyways, sorry for the rambles today. I hope y'all enjoy the video and just let me know in the comments, uh, any ideas, any suggestions that you have for the series. I did add this dang bike. I'm so sorry. I will remove the bike. Don't worry. It might just remove itself if you download it and you don't have that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay hydrated. Drink some water. Take your vitamins, please. I did today. I took my vitamin D. Can you hear it? Yeah, I took it. Okay. Uh, that's why I have the energy today. But anyways, I love you all. And that is everything. This home is available on the Sims 4 gallery, also under the username Luca Owens, as well as the hashtag Luca. But stay weird and beware of the Nargles, y'all. Bye, y'all. Thank you.